good hearing. Yeah, he does. Our cat has fantastic hearing. Just because he doesn't have big ears that we can see doesn't mean he doesn't have good hearing. If Alan had big ears like a fox and he's running around underground, what would get in his ears? Snow. Yeah, maybe snow, maybe dirt from his tunnels, and he could get an ear infection. So Alan has these really cool ears that just go whoop, and they go right against his head nice and tight so that nothing can get in his ears. So Alan's eyes, are they big or are they small? Yeah, they're pretty small. Do you think Alan has good eyesight? No, Alan has terrible eyesight. He needs glasses. But do wild animals have glasses? No, they don't need glasses like this. But for a groundhog, does it matter if he doesn't have good eyesight? Where does he live? He lives underground, and it's dark down there. He doesn't have to rely on his eyes. Instead, he uses a big nose at the front of his face, and he uses these nice ears up here. So, that looks delicious. So one more thing about Mr. Allen, because you can see it right here. Do you see that little tail? Is that a beaver tail? No. Beavers have these big flat tails for slapping down mud on the dams that they build and then the lodges that they live in underneath. Alan's tail is used for something different. Groundhogs, as a species, are actually diagnosed with obsessive compulsive disorder. He has OCD. This little ground hog uses his tail to see his tunnels all day long. This looked like this. If a ground has messy tunnels, there's sticks in the way, there's leaves and all kind of garbage, he couldn't escape from the predator very, very fast. And that's his defense. He uses all these crazy tunnels that only he knows and gets away from predators. So, why do we have Mr. Allen here today? Well, this little was someone's pet. He was taken from the wild as a baby groundhog, and when we first got Alan, he did not look like this. Alan was naked from the neck down. He was bald. He looked very strange. Imagine a groundhog from here down with no hair. Alan was treated like a hamster. Alan was fed hamster food, and he lived in a hamster cage. Is a hamster and a groundhog the same thing? No. So he wasn't eating the right foods, and he wasn't getting enough food, so he was very hungry. And he started to pick and scratch at his hair. So that is why he came to us bald. We had to do a whole bunch of research to figure out what Mr. Allen hates. He hates oranges, lemons, limes. He hates anything with citrus. So what did we do? We lathered his little body in citrus oil, because that's the only thing that got him out of getting out of the habit of picking at his hair. So, we would like to wave quite